Okay, so basically we're zeroed. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a target and I'm gonna go way out into the field somewhere, just random spot, and we'll see if the ballistic drop calculator calculates the correct drop for this ammo at whatever range we end up at. Welcome back to Brochin guys. Today we're doing a little test with the One Leaf Commander NV 400. This is a day night digital rifle scope. I've been using it a bit to take care of critters at night around the, around the chickens and stuff like that. Taking care of them. There's also a ballistic drop feature on this and I want to see if it'll follow and how far it'll be accurate with the CCI Quiet 22. This is what I use. I don't want to keep the neighbors up. So it's 710 feet per second, ballistic coefficient of 0.12 from what I read on the internet. So I entered some of that data into the scope itself and now I'm just going to make sure it's zeroed at, we got 39.5 yards because it's a really slow 22 and I'm not shooting more than about 55 yards but this gives you your hold. Okay so the range finder's on. Get some ammo in it. And we don't need ear pro because this stuff's super quiet. Basically, like a pellet gun. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to see what I'm seeing. I guess I'll record it. Why not? Okay, so here we are at 39.7, it says. So just kind of, I'm going to probably do three shots and then we'll do our zero. It's a one shot zero on this thing. You shoot and then you move, you keep your aim point the same, but you move your reticle with uh, the dial here to the bullet holes and then you're zeroed. All right, so we'll do a couple shots. I can't really tell where it's hitting because that big black triangle, but it looks to be a little bit low. Maybe I'll shoot the top cross and then I'll be able to easily see the bullets. Bullet holes. Here we go. alone bit to the right Ooh, that doesn't look very good for accuracy Get the average of that five shot group. All right. So here is where our first shots were. We were aiming at the top here. They hit down here. And then we started aiming up here and they dropped into this little spot. That's one inch. So just, just over an inch and a quarter, let's say, group. And I'll go into the menu. I'm not going to be able to show you guys this part, but maybe I can get it later. So we'll go one shot, zero. What does it say to do here? Move the red reticle to the bullet hole while keeping the white reticle on your aim point. So we'll get her kind of in the middle of that group-ish. Alright, that looks pretty good. Then press the camera to enter and save it. 
There we go. Okay, so now we're zeroed. And now I'm just going to aim at the center of top left target. We'll do another five shot group on that with the new aim point and see if it did zero with that last five shots. This stuff is minute of squirrel for sure. Okay, it'll take a little game out. Rats and stuff like that. I wouldn't say precision ammo though, by any, any means. We know that from our test before. Okay. So here we go, top left target for five shots. Be a bit high now. Same hole though. Oh, I don't even know. Maybe we'll do one more just to kind of get a more of a rough idea. Oh, that one's way low. Yeah, one more. Still works for the rodents so. though. We're zoomed all the way out now. No. Now we are. Yeah. Stop this. And then we zeroed it for here and we hit within here. So yeah, it's the ammo definitely because that rifle shoots pretty good with good ammo. But uh okay, so basically we're zeroed. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a target and I'm gonna go way out into the field somewhere just random spot and we'll see if the ballistic drop calculator calculates the correct drop for this ammo at whatever range we end up at I'm not gonna well I guess I can double check it with this after with the rangefinder and we'll see if this rangefinder built into the optic here is accurate so let's do that next okay well that was a huge pain in the butt walking through that shit out in the field but here we are, just loading up another 10 shots. Let's see what the rangefinder built into the optic says. Saying 93 yards. Only problem is, if I hold, actually if I turn the rangefinder off, there we go. Now my hold's perfect. Okay, saying 93 yards. Let's check with an actual rangefinder. Ninety-seven point eight. It's saying. Oh wait, wait, wait. That was wrong. Eighty-eight point one. That's saying eighty-eight point one. And this one is saying ninety-one point five. But I have a hold point here. I'm not sure if it's going to show. On the video what i'll do is we'll take a shot at the dead center target my cant is off there's a little cant meter in there too here we go we hit but i don't know where Definitely hitting it. I'm gonna try zooming in a bit. And we'll adjust the focus here. All right, it's hitting a little bit low. 
by the looks of it. Okay, let's try shooting top left target. Almost high. Shot high there. That one was right by the target. Yeah, this stuff's not very consistent. Oh, we hit the bullseye at 100 yards using the ballistic calculator. That was the same hole. Crazy. Well, there we have it. So, works out to just under 100 yards. Maybe I'll move it one more time and we'll give it one more shot. A little bit farther though. Well, oh, we're back. Oh, what a shitty run through that stuff. Yeah, legs are all shredded from that. That was not fun, but gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, my goodness, terrible. But it's way out there now. We're out of breath. That shit just rips your legs apart. I think it's like dried soy or something. But it's up to my waist and it's really sharp. And I'm wearing shorts. Smart move. So now, let's get the 10 shots loaded up. Let's range this thing with the onboard rangefinder. And let's see what we can do here. 127 yards, 126 point, 126, 127, so somewhere around there. So we have our aim point, way low, it's in the bottom thick part of the crosshair, so that's going to be kind of tough to aim precisely. But let me stop recording here, I guess I forgot it on. Okay, let's get our other rangefinder out. And let's see what we got for range here. 120.1 yards. 120.9. Okay, so this one says 129. So it says about 10 yards off. So we have a good aim point. Oh, if I zoom in, I lose my aim point. So what I'm going to do is I will try shooting the top right target and we'll do a few shots there and see if we're even on paper holding the rifle level because there's a cant indicator on this and we're shooting downhill by negative one degree here we go we hit not sure where i'm aiming almost at the bottom of my Bottom of my screen here. Did I start recording? Okay, now I'm recording. I don't know if you can see where my aim point is on the recording, but. Wow, 
It works. That's pretty cool. Maybe a little bit high, but pretty damn close. So, so far, yeah, it looks like it's pretty close. Start recording again. I'll just show you what I see here. And let's try. Yeah, it's not bad. So you're definitely going to hit a coyote or something if you did that. That's what's in four or five inch circle for sure. The 100 yard one was, or 96 yard one was within three inches. Yeah, that's not bad. And from what I saw on the 39 yard target, it was all within probably about two, two inches or less, maybe an inch and a half. Like it is pretty, pretty solid. And we know this ammo isn't the greatest for sure. But uh, actually we've got five left, let's do them. Let's use these five. But yeah, there we go. So the ballistic calculator works. If you have the right data and if you could maybe tweak it a little bit or I don't know, just to dial it in a bit better, like it's, it seems to be working really good. So let's zoom out so we have our aim point again. Here we go. Stable here. Well, there we have it. That's the ballistic uh, computer in the One Leaf Commander NV400. It works really good. And uh, yeah, I would say it works. So go check out One Leaf. I think these are around $400 are pretty cheap, but they definitely work. And you can record what you see. So for hunting, that'd be pretty cool too. You don't need all this fancy, this stuff on there, but Definitely want the rangefinder because it gives you your aim point and clearly it works. So maybe what I'll do is I'll try it on a different rifle or a different caliber, even a center fire and go to a longer range range and see what I could do with that. But for now, this is my, my little critter getter for nighttime when the, the rats are all out by the coop. So hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more of the NV400 and thanks for watching guys take care see you next week